In London's theatre land, the lights are illuminated, but the doors are firmly shut. And cinemas advertising springtime blockbuster movies are taking zero at the box office for the first time in history. When stay-at-home measures were introduced, the effect on arts, culture and entertainment industries across the world was instant and devastating. A sector worth $13 billion to the UK economy alone now entirely shut down. With many music concerts and theatre productions cancelled for good, it's the smaller independent venues that will suffer enormously. We went dark on the 16th of March. And because we are a receiving theatre, most of our income, virtually all of our income, comes from our box office. So the minute we can't show a production and have the audience coming in, obviously income and then cash flow for the organisation becomes uh, incredibly critical. The film sector is also hurting. The Cannes Film Festival, vital to the survival of world cinema, is postponed but hopes to be resurrected later in the year. The building that usually hosts film stars in the film market is now hosting the homeless, around 70 men and women who would otherwise have nowhere to go during the lockdown in France. Hundreds of films have halted production or delayed release, putting many self-employed people immediately out of work. Instead, some set builders, technicians and engineers are offering their skills to help build makeshift hospitals for the overstretched NHS while the Arts Council is hoping their new emergency fund will help keep institutions afloat. We've already uh, put together a package of emergency funds from the Arts Council of £160 million. Um, but even with the government interventions that have already been announced, we know that that's not going to be enough. Perhaps once quarantine is over, there'll be more appetite for the cultural communal experience than ever before. Right now, streaming platforms like Netflix and Apple TV are coming into their own but national theatres, royal ballets and classical orchestras are also putting their content online for free, finding an entirely new audience. I can't the Some artists are still drawing a small crowd. In Spain, a singer performs nightly from her balcony to local residents in Barcelona. In Italy, scenes from classic films are projected onto buildings, something for people to share in isolation. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Southern England.